it has involved working in the School of Community and Health Sciences and I've been running training for academic staff and how to use Moodle in their courses um, it's, that's involved group training and also um, desk side support. It's also involved training up the admin staff within our school so that they can support their staff in issues um, like uploading documents and also student enrolment issues. Um, it's also um, My role also involves working centrally with the educational technology expert team um, to look at how we can further improve Moodle to meet our school's um, requirements. I feel like it's an obvious thing to involve the academics in the implementation of Moodle because they're obviously the experts in what they want to do and in my school we've got a lot of different departments and all the departments have different objectives and they have very different teaching methods and a different culture so what we did was we got together a group of Moodle champions and these were people based within the different departments some of those had lots of experience using city space before, others not so much, but they were all people who were very enthusiastic and wanted to get involved in the Moodle project. Um, so they were all of our early adopters really. So some of the champions were involved in piloting modules in Moodle where we could do that. And where that wasn't possible, um, because we didn't want students to be using both city space and Moodle, the other champions helped us look at how they wanted to use Moodle from September onwards. Um, we also had the champions training up other members of staff on how they could use Moodle, so all the training wasn't coming centrally. I think um, sort of an overall consensus is that it's a great improvement of what we've got at the moment and it does do a lot of things that we weren't able to do before. There are a few things that um, are slightly time consuming to do in Moodle, I do have to say, um, but the great thing about Moodle is that we can modify things and we are doing that in our university and I think that's really worked to our advantage and also the um, impressions that academics have towards it. Um, one of the problems we have found very recently with Moodle is that for our nursing and midwifery courses where students are placed at hospitals quite often, because of the firewall uh, the NHS has, we found that they've been unable to access some elements of Moodle. Whilst they've been able to log on, they haven't been able to do things like editing their posts to forums. I think generally it's been really good the response we've got. We achieved our objectives of having all of our first year modules live on Moodle um, for this September slash October. There were a few academics who didn't manage to meet the, um, the target for that day. But what we found is that the Mo this is where we found that the Mo having the Moodle champions has really helped because they've come along and supported those people who for time constraints or whatever reason, it's not usually because of technology reasons i found, you know, so they've, the Moodle champions have gone away and helped those people set up their modules quickly. So far the feedback we've had from students again has been positive. What the feedback we've got has been from academics, so the people teach module leaders have said that their students have really liked working with Moodle. We haven't, thought, we haven't carried out research yet to look at that in more depth, so we haven't run any sort of case studies or anything like that. But that's the next step that the Educational Development Unit within the School of Community Health Science is taking. The most positive thing about it has been this September when you've seen that people have gone and they've developed their modules to a really good standard, they look professional, they've not just got documents on there, they've got more than that, they've added quizzes, they've added forums and they're using all of that in, in uh, improving the students' learning experience. So at the moment the way we did our training for staff was to run introductory to Moodle training sessions. 
We ran them generically so that anybody in the school could attend, but what we quickly found out is that running departmental training sessions was more effective, and what we found is that people within the department began to support each other a lot more, so they could use each other as training resources. We're, as well as running introductory training sessions, which we'll continue doing because some staff haven't moved over to Moodle yet, we'll also run advanced training sessions. I would really advise running departmental training sessions. We initially decided to run um, training sessions that were open to everybody within the school. And whilst we still do that for people who can't attend the departmental training sessions, we found that in departmental training sessions, people supported each other a lot more.